very beginning to carry out both scientific research and supply South African research stations in the Antarctic. Now, during the voyages, the ship, with its group of scientists on board, gathers statistics and tests the uh, Antarctic ice to advance knowledge, basically, about the composition of the Antarctic sea ice. Now, to tell us a little bit more about the Antarctic, as well as the Southern Ocean Program, we are joined here on the program now by Monde Maikiso, who is the DDG of the Department of Environmental Affairs. It's wonderful to have you on the program, DDG. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Liam. Tell us a little bit more about the Southern and Antarctic program. The Southern Antarctic program, Liam, is a program that involves a large number of government departments and other stakeholders in seeking to get knowledge that is otherwise unique from that part of the area or from part of the environment. I mean by that the Southern Ocean, Sub-Antarctic Ocean, and Antarctic Oceans. The information we get there, we could not get from anywhere else yeah. because of that particular yeah. environment. Yeah. Why is it important for us as a country? I mean, South Africa, we have absolutely no ice. It's not, it's not of critical importance for us to know. But why is this research important? Perhaps maybe you can, you can fool the rest of South Africa in. Leanne, if we look at uh, the positioning of South Africa, relative to the ice in the Southern Ocean. If something went wrong in the Southern Ocean, we were one of the first countries that would get that impact. But that is not the principal objective. The ice in the Antarctica provides us with insights that we could never get elsewhere. So ice is important to us because of the knowledge that we can get from an environment that is, has a lot of ice. What, 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 what type of information? For starters, information which could help provide us with an early warning system mm. if there were, could be environmental disasters on land. For an example, we want to see if we can associate ice conditions in the southern oceans with weather here at home. And if we're able to do that, we could give South Africans an early warning if there, were, if there was going to be a disaster. That kind of information as well as climate change information because those environments are not as disturbed as the environments we live in some of the changes in the environmental factors are easier to discern in the southern ocean than around here where there's a lot of impact already what are some of the latest findings? Because I mean, we, we've taken on some incredible voyages, which we've heard about just here on, on the SAO Gullis too. Um, just up to date, what, what have we been finding? One that has always uh, got my imagination is what we're finding in Marion Island, where we have found that seabirds are having poor reproductive success. Mm. And that is associated with the rise in the temperature of the water which we associate with climate change. Yeah. Yeah. So climate change is a reality. I mean, that, I, I suppose, is something that we've got to get used to, but we've got to, we've got to do something about. Lian is definitely a reality, and as I said earlier, it's a little easier to discern in the Antarctica and the southern and, and, and sub-Antarctic islands. Yeah. That's obviously your biggest indicator. I mean, everybody's sort of gathering information out of Antarctica as to the effects of climate change and how dramatic it actually is. Well. What we are seeing there tells us it could be dramatic and uh, we think we should move <laughs> as quickly as possible. But I need to go back and say South Africa is in a fortunate position because we, the Southern Ocean is just adjacent to us and we have access to it that nobody else has. And this fantastic vessel uh, gives us access to the Southern Ocean. Very, very interesting. I mean, just very quickly, the future, what does it hold for us? I mean, do we need to move faster when it comes to implementing laws that protect our, our, uh, our, our environment? We do not have an option, Leanne. We've got to move quickly. But what uh, we see as even more critical is how we get our communities on land to adapt to all potential changes associated with climate change. 
Thank you for talking to us, DDG. Um, it's an absolute pleasure having you here. Good luck for the uh, COP11 taking place. I'm sure you're going to uh, be a very vital role player here. Um, the uh, Monde Mayoseka is the DDG of the Department of Environmental Affairs talking to us on board the SA Organist 2.